No one has ever dunked and then started believing they could dunk. They had the belief that they could, and then the dunk was a result of their beliefs. And that's what I need to practice to be able to dunk in games a lot more. What really frustrated me after this game was that I had a lot of opportunities where I blow by my defender or get to the rim, but I'm just not able to finish even a strong layup near the rim at all. I'm not even close to the rim. Speed phase I want to be in. Number two is dunk in games consistently, effortlessly, all the time, alley oops, catch bodies, dunk on people's freaking tracheas. And number once a week, but right now I hit a new level. We're starting off 2022 hot. The goal is the same, progress every single day, and just dunk on people's life, which I almost did today. So, been training super hard. This is 9-9, let's get right into it. One of the biggest perspectives dunking has brought to my life has been the shift from asking myself, how do I achieve this? Or what do I need to do to achieve this? Or is it even possible to that switch of what am I capable of? Now that's translated into my business, my relationships, my passion, my creativity, everything. And now this milestone is just another example. It's the second I hit a milestone, it's more about overcoming every obstacle in the way. So if you're asking yourself along your journey, every single moment, what am I capable of? The milestones are just a result of that energy and every single obstacle that comes in your way is a reminder of your power, of your capabilities. That changed the whole game because now I'm starting to enjoy the challenges. Every single challenge is a reminder of my power and a success in its own right. For me to say, I'm taking on this challenge. It feels good to take on a challenge. And very similarly, if I have any fear or doubt, I can see it as part of my ego getting burned away. And the beautiful part about that is I'm more free. I'm more happy. I'm more excited. I'm more peaceful. So every time I see a fear now, I say, ooh, that's another piece of me I don't need that's limiting me, holding me down, getting erased from my experience. Oh! So this is one of those goals. Thank you, Nick Edson, so much, my boy, for putting this quick video together. It was just something simple, but I appreciate you following my journey, supporting my journey. That's to all of you out there. I didn't even realize how much I spoke this into the universe, but this I've done before. I've dunked in a game in 9-9. I wasn't even filming this day because I said, you know what? And this was a mentality shift. I said, you know what? I film every game, and I said, I'm not filming this game. And the immediate, immediate thought that came to my head was, I'm gonna miss the game dunk. I feel like I can get a game dunk today. I'm like, but it doesn't matter. That's just what I do. And I said to myself, if I'm a game dunker, I said, you know what? What would it feel like if I got a game dunk and I didn't catch it on tape? I'm like, that's what I do. I just dunk in games because that's who I am. So it instantly shift to me saying, I am a game dunker to me before saying, I wanna catch a glimpse of me acting like a game dunker. So a completely different energy shift and how the universe works is there was a camera guy there filming his other friend, caught me on tape, so excited that I did. Bonus from the universe, went out of my mind. So it feels like it's just the beginning. I felt amazing and now it's just uh, a result of me overcoming every single obstacle and it's more about the power I gained along the journey than it is about the game dunk. Of course I got crazy hype, but it's all about the, the way I got here, what I learned through that journey, the power I gained, the insights I have, and now the, the confidence, the mentality shift, the perspective changing ideas, all these different things I am so grateful for and I hope you guys see that as well.